Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Books, Girls, and Furs. My name is Leslie, and today we're going to be discussing my fall 2023 TBR. Alright, so for the month of September, that's my birthday month, I'm going to be reading a trilogy called uh, The Broken Earth Trilogy. Um, it's by N.K. Jemisin. I saw a really great interview with this author, I mean, <laughs> probably like a decade ago. Um, the author was on a, uh, it's on a YouTube channel, I think it's called Sword and Lasers, and she gave a really great interview, and I've been wanting to read her work ever since. Haven't gone around to it, and then uh, for Christmas of 2020, my friend gave this to me for, um, as a present for Christmas, but I just haven't had a chance to read it. So I'm just going to be focusing on these three books. But these seem pretty huge. <laughs> They're pretty thick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read as much as I can for the month of September. But if I can't get through all of these, I'm going to designate December to go back to these books and finish them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, for the month of October... Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I don't know a lot about uh, this series. All I know is that it takes place in the future and these uh, climate uh, apocalypse-like events happen on a very large continent seasonally. And so, yeah, it takes place in the future. I think this is very much about like climate change. Um, I don't know any more than that, and I don't want to. I just want to wait until I read them so that I'm surprised. And I do see a lot of chatter about this book, but I avoid it because <laughs> I just I want to go in um, without having any any type of um, preconceived notions, or I don't want to like hype it up for myself and then to be disappointed or anything. I just want to go in there but anyway so yeah I'll be reading that for September and October I'm gonna be reading some books that are not on my shelf and my goal this year is to only read books on my shelf but I don't have a lot of um, October reads you know anything that's kind of like in the scary realm or whatnot uh, so I'm gonna read Garlic and the Vampire, as well as Garlic on the Witch. It's by Brie Paulson. Um, I think it's middle grade. I saw the covers, they looked really adorable. El Cowboy Reads posted about uh, those books and it just, it's, it's meant to be kind of like, you know, um, uh, using these horror genre, <laughs> but for middle grade and it just looks kind of cute. It's apparently about a garlic that uh, is anxious and the community turns to this garlic because they need help with a vampire problem they have. And in the second book, which is about witches, um, focuses on garlic seeking the help of a witch. As, that's as far as I know. I don't want to know anything else. It just looked really cute. And I thought that would be something light and easy for me to get through that focuses on one particular author. Because the next two books are going to be um, about a different author and two books that looked interesting. The name of the author is Leopoldo Gout. I think that's how I say the name. Um, there's an Instagrammer by the name of The Wandering Reader. And she posted about a book that's coming out this year um, called uh, The Piñata. And the cover alone really caught my eye. And so I don't have the physical copy yet, but I'll just read you a little bit of the synopsis. And uh, it says, It was supposed to be the perfect summer. Carmen Sanchez is back in Mexico, supervising the renovation of an ancient abbey. Her daughter, Isel and Luna, too young to be left alone in New York, join her in what Carmen hopes is a chance for them to connect with their roots. 
Then an accident at the work site a nurse, a stash of rare, centuries-old artifacts. The disaster cost Carmen her job, cutting the family trip short. But something malevolent and unexplainable follows them home to New York, stalking the Sanchez family and heralding a coming catastrophe. And it may already be too late to escape what's been awakened. So that sounded really fascinating. And so seeing that post about that book made me look at some of the other books the author has written. And um, that same author wrote a book called Monarcha. And so I think I'm going to read both those books just so that I continue with my author focus. And so hopefully I'll be able to grab these books from my local library. And I googled the um, synopsis and what I found was that Monarcha is about um, Inez. It says, on her 15th birthday, Inez receives a mysterious necklace from her abuela in Mexico. When she wears it, she is magically transformed into a monarch butterfly. The fulfillment of a prophecy linking Inez's destiny to her family legacy and the butterfly's survival. And so, yeah, I, so I'm, I'm glad that I'm reading, um, what's the name of the author? Brie Paulson's middle grade collection. Um, I think that'll be something to kind of ease into. And again, it looks adorable. All the while, um, picking another author, or I guess t two authors, right, in October, that I'll be able to focus on um, two books that they've written. I thought the one would be kind of like really quick and easy to get through compared to maybe um, Leopoldo Gout's work. <laughs> Um, and for the last month, November, I'm going to be focusing on N. Scott Mama Day, the child, oh no, 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 how do I say this? The Ancient Child and House Made of Dawn. All right, so I've tried to read this book a couple of times, House Made of Dawn. Have not been able to get through it. I don't know why. Something's just not clicking for me. So, um... I really want to get through this. And the other one is um, The Ancient Child. I tr didn't even really try. I, I don't want to say that. I, I picked it up, but if you look, this, the print is so tiny. It's a little bit daunting. And um, uh, yeah, so um, maybe if I could find an audiobook, I might read it along with this. Um, just to make sure that I can get through it. But again, I'll only be focusing on two books for November. So that should help me out time-wise. And on the book of, um, the book, what am I saying? On the back of Housemaid of Dawn, it says, a young Native American Abel has come home from a foreign war to find himself caught between two worlds. The first is the world of his father's. Um, wedding him to the rhythm of the season, the harsh beauty of the land, and the ancient rites and traditions of his people. But the other world, modern, industrial America, pulls at Abel, demanding his loyalty, claiming his soul, goading him into a destructive, compulsive cycle of uh, dissipation and disgust. And the young man, torn in two, descends into hell. I think if I could just get into this, I'll really like it. Um, and this one is actually just a bunch of fables, if I understand. So it says on the back, And Scott Mamaday shapes the ancient Kiowa myth of a boy who turned into a bear into a timeless American classic. The ancient child juxtaposes Indian lore and Wild West legend into a hypnotic, often lyrical, contemporary novel, the story of Locke Sitman, known as Set, a Native American raised far from the reservation by his adoptive father. Set feels a strange aching in his soul and, returning to tribal lands for the funeral of his grandmother, is drawn irresistibly to the fabled bear boy. When he meets Gray, a beautifully young medicine woman with a visionary gift, his world is turned upside down. Here is a magical saga of one man's tormented search for his identity. A quintessential American novel and a great one.
So yeah, let's see if I could do it. <laughs> um, that's it for uh, fall. Um, if you've read any of these books, um, let me know what you think. Um, or if there's something that you want me to focus on for any of the authors I've chosen, let me know that too. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you later.